I am making a Numeron deck profile, mainly because I got rid of the deck, regretted it deeply, and immediately, or I say immediately, I traded for it a week later, but then got it four weeks later after trading for it because the person I traded to kept forgetting to grab it. But I finally got it back, and now I have it put back together, and I actually really like how the deck is. So starting off with monsters, I play three. The only monster in this deck that you might actually summon to your field on purpose. That isn't used for another thing. Which is Numeron Wall. Just because it has the effect of you control no cards other than Numeron Wall. And you can send it from your hand or gray from your hand or face up field to the deck. Or I am butchering this, I apologize. You can send it from your hand or field to the graveyard while the only card you control is a face up Numeron wall. So then activate Numeron network directly from your deck. And then the only other monster in this deck that's not a ha hand trap that you might also normal summon on purpose is three copies of Archfiend Eccentric. Has the pendulum ability of you can have it Target one other spell trapper in the field, destroy itself and that card. And then, if it's in the monster, is a monster you can tribute it. Target one monster on the field, destroy it, which is needed for one of the spells in this deck. But then for the hand traps, I play three copies of Effect Veiler, just to target an opponent's effect monster negates effect during their main phase. Two copies of Ghost Spell. Just in case your opponent tries to summon a monster from the graveyard, return a card from the graveyard to the hand or deck, or banish a card from the graveyard. Then I play three copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring just to negate any card that would move a card from deck to hand, summon a monster from deck, to, or send a card from deck to grave. Then I play three copies of Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. This monster lets us you send to the graveyard targeting upon special summon monster, negate that monster's effects for that turn, and then if it leaves the field, then your opponent takes damage equal to that monster's original attack. But it has to be done when your opponent summons the monster. So like if your opponent scythe locks you or summon Scythe, this can out actually out the Scythe. Because it just targets special summon Scythe and it gets effects. Then moving on to the spells, I play one copy of Terraforming to search for Numeron Network. Two copies of Numeron Chaos Ritual just to summon the big boss monster of this deck. Which can only be activated if Chaos number one, Numeron Chaos Gate Sunia is destroyed by monster effect. Which would be a lot easier if Sunya had its anime effect of if Numeron Network is not in play, destroy it. Then I also play two copies of Numeron Calling. This card just ha has the effect of as long as you only control, as long as the only face up card you control is Numeron Network, you can summon up to four Numeron Gates from your extra deck. However, if you use this effect, you only expect someone once after that effect has resolved. Then I play three copies of limiter removal just to double the attack of all the Numeron gates since all the Numeron gates are machine. Which is ironic since all the Numeron gates also double their own attack points. One thing I do want to do though is swap this out for a copy of or for three copies of Imperial Iron Wall. Imperial Iron Wall has a very simple effect saying cards cannot be removed from play. So I like that with this deck because the Numeron Gates, they can just get incredibly strong, but due to the effect of Numeron Calling, they are banished at the end of the turn. But if you have Imperial Iron Wall face up, then the Gates cannot be banished, and they just keep their double attack. But I say replace Lunar Removal because then if I use Lunar Removal, they will be destroyed. And I believe they can be destroyed by card, or by card effect. Yeah, they're only protections that can't be just run metal. 
But then I play three copies of Memories of Hope. With this deck, this is just a plus four. As you activate it while you control numbers one through four. And this just lets you draw one card for every different number you control. And you'll activate one Memories of Hope per turn. But I like using it and when I also have one of my three copies of Serial Spell. Serial Spell has the effect if you activate a normal spell, then you can discard your entire hand minimum of one to double to copy that card's effect. So as long as I have one card in hand and I activate Memories of Hope, I can chain this to draw four cards off of Memories of Hope's effect and then draw four off of the actual Memories of Hope. So this just lets me, turns the plus draw four into a draw eight. Then I play three copies of Contract with Dawn Thousand. Contract Dawn Thousand makes it so that each player has to pay a thousand life points. So with this, I can actually manage to kill if my opponent just does nothing on their opening turn. Otherwise, I have to hope my opponent sets at least sets a monster. But this makes it so that each player has to pay a thousand life points, and then each player has to draw a card. But while this card is face up, every card drawn is revealed. So this just makes it so that you get to see what your opponent has, but your opponent also gets to see what you have. So in most most likely, they will see your hand traps. But like I said, I only play this because uh, if I'm going second, then I can actually inflict at least. I my opponent pay a thousand my points. I smack them for four thousand, leaving them with three thousand. Then I summon chaos number one, and if my opponent can't kill me on their turn, then at the start of my turn they'll take another three thousand damage, which will be eight thousand damage in total. Then I play three copies of Numeron Network. Numeron Network has the effect of you can, if you control no face up card, or no face up cards, has the effect of you can send a Numeron spell from your deck to a grave that can be activated to then copy its effect. And if a Numeron monster were to activate its effect, then you can detach, to detach material, then you do not have to detach instead. Which is how the Numeron Gates would work with this. And then to finish off the deck, I play three copies of Infinite Impermanence. This deck mains 14 to 17 hand traps, depending on whether or not you consider a Numeron Wall to be a hand trap. And that is it for the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck. I play two copies of number one, Numeron Gate Acom. Two copies of number two, Numeron Gate Deve. Two copies of number three, Numeron Gate Trini. Two copies of number four, Numeron Gate Kadvari. The four Numeron Gates have, sh all share the effect that they can't be destroyed in battle. And... After they battle a monster, you can detach the material to then double the attack of all Numeron Gates you control. Which, in this case, you normally you would have to detach, but due to Numeron Network, you don't. So this is just how you OTK, because you have the Gates, which is four limb removals, and then any other limb removal you have after that is just more attack points. But if your opponent somehow manages to let survive your attack, then I also play two copies of Chaos Number One, Numeron Chaos Gate Sunia. Chaos Gate Sunia has the effect of when it's a, you can exceed summon it by using a Number One Numeron Gate Acom, and then when it's exceed summoned, you just destroy or destroy. You just remove every other monster in play that's currently in play from play. You banish every other all monsters in play, including itself. And then when it's banished, you can activate its effect so that during your next standby phase, it'll summon itself back and then burn your opponent for the original combined attack of all these monsters still banished by its effect, which unfortunately is their original attack instead of the attack they had on the field. So normally this will end up dealing 3,000 points of burn damage. And then 
if it gets destroyed by a monster effect, then it can use Numero and Chaos Ritual Summon uh, Chaos Number 1000, Numeronius. And Numeronius has the effect of. Or the other effect of the Numeron Chaos Ritual is it is Numeronius summoned off of that card's effect, then its attack becomes 10,000. Then it has the effect of during the or you, quick effect, you can detach a material, which it would have five with summoned off of Numeron Chaos Ritual as you have to use a Numeron network that's in, in your graveyard or banished, and then any banished uh, number monsters. In this case, you would use numbers one through four and Numeron network. But you detach material, target one monster, punch control, destroy it. And at the end of the battle phase, you can destroy all monsters. Or er, you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls, minimum of one, and then you can special on one monster from its graveyard to your field and defense position. And I believe it can't attack. Let's see. Special monster from opponent's graveyard to your field and defense position. Oh no! You just summon opponent's monster from your gra graveyard and from their graveyard to your field and defense position. So this can technically summon a, a Baron, or uh, a Dragoon, a Phoenix Enforcer. And then I play the one copy of Imaginary Chaos number 1000, Numeronius Numeronia. This monster can only be summoned it off of Numeronius being destroyed. Where if it's destroyed, you use as material from the graveyard to summon this. And its effect is... If it was summoned off the effect of Numeronius, then it gains a hundred thousand attack points during your opponent's turn only. If they and they ha it must or must, and then if they don't attack it, then there. I'm just gonna restart that part. It has a hundred thousand attack points during your opponent's turn only, and if they don't attack it, then you win. And then it has an effect where you can detach materials and they gain attack and then gain life and then you gain life points equal to the opposing monster's attack points. Which really, if they're attacking into it, they're either taking themselves out or they're about to be over it. Which means you're gonna have over a hundred thousand life points. Which would be fun. But that is it for my Numeron deck profile. If you have any ideas what I can do to improve the deck. For any ideas of decks like to see me, see me make profiles of, or decks like to see face each other, feel free to comment that down below. Thanks for watching. Also, one thing I am working on is a game between Numeron and Utopia, since I actually know someone who has a Utopia deck built. And if it's wanted, I will actually make a deck profile of their Utopia deck if they're willing. But with that, my this deck profile is over, and thanks for watching.